Welcome to today's edition of the show podcast. One of the darkest and scariest characters in the entire history of WWE is certainly the one who belonged to the first version of the big red monster, Kane. The Undertaker's ring half-brother, who debuted that character in the now distant 1997, has scared the younger members of the WWE universe for years, with segments and angles that have made really bad dreams for the little ones who followed the deeds of WWE superstars at the time. Over the years, however, Kane has become less and less scary, so much so that in the end he also becomes a darling of the public, with the face of Glenn Jacobs, the fighter who hides under the mask of Kane, who has managed to become even a real mayor of an American county, for some years now. Kane is a three-time world champion in WWE. In his last speech on the microphones of his Something to Wrestle With, the current right-hand man of Vince McMahon, Bruce Prichard, who together with the WWE chairman is in charge of the entire creative section of the Stamford Company, wanted to tell fans what the initial plans for the character of Kane, who at the debut should not have had Paul Bearer as manager, but brother love. To the microphones of his podcast, Prichard revealed. We had an idea at the time to get me back on screen, making me go back to being a manager alongside Kane, with completely dark red hair. Now, this was to be staged in late 1997, possibly in 98, which was just around the time of Kane's debut Kane made his WWF debut at Bad Blood in October 1997. Right after that. But the idea of making my hair red, basically, the color of Undertaker's hair, was to get me back in the hope of helping the Undertaker in the feud with his brother Kane. So we had to make a trade, but after the first few promos, Vince, the usual Vince, told me I was a piece of shit that literally sucked, after just telling me I was great at doing what I was doing. So you walked away feeling good, but with all that me, he had shot around. Damn man, that wasn't a heel promo, it was a babyface promo. Damn it was really cool. Strong. Strong. Let's go. In a rather particular and very controversial way, Bush Pritchard has thus told how he went from the idea that he should return to play the role of brother love alongside Kane, to then instead move to the side of The Undertaker, and then instead no longer hold any on-screen role, with the big feud that brought Undertaker against Kane, which is now history and which saw Paul Bearer being a fundamental piece of the career of both athletes, and which helped them to grow exponentially, year after. Year. Yeah.